The details still murky as to what led up to the horrific murder of 33-year-old Janae Gagnier, known as Miss Mercedes Moore on social media, with a following of 2.6 million. We want to find out why her, why him. The body of the woman was discovered Sunday afternoon inside her apartment at the Cortland Sugarland complex. This is the story of a young woman whose radiant beauty captivated thousands drawing them into a world of glamour and allure. Meet Jenna Gagnier, known to her followers as Miss Mercedes Moore, an Instagram model whose life seemed straight out of a fairy tale, but as the screens filled with her laughter, there existed a chilling presence lurking in the shadows, a presence that would ultimately shatter the illusion and plunge her into a nightmare she could never escape. This is the haunting tale of Jenna Gagnier, a promising star whose life was tragically cut short by a stalker's sinister obsession. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Houston, Texas, a city recognized for its energy, diversity, and endless possibilities. Beneath the bustling life and Texan charm, a horrifying story was unfolding that would forever stain the magnificence of the city's streets. Janae Gagnier, a resident of Houston, was born on November 25, 1987, to Mark P. Gagnier and Janetta Grover. She became well-known as an Instagram influencer and model with more than 2 million followers. She was a devoted daughter, sister, aunt, niece, cousin, and friend to many people. In the sparkling world of social media, she was a vibrant and stunning young woman. She effortlessly drew attention and affection with an attractiveness that looked almost otherworldly. As an Instagram model, she showcased a life that many could only dream of, a life adorned with luxury, glamour, and tantalizing beauty. But beyond the filters and perfectly composed photos, Jenna was more than just an online figure. Her contagious laughter and sincere kindness revealed a soul that shone just as brightly as her smile. It was this true genuineness she had. However, as the comments and likes poured in, a darkness started to creep into Jenna's beautiful story. And the threatening stranger who emerged from the darkness was none other than Kevin Alexander Accordo, a 34 years old guy from Florida whose obsession with Jenna had grown to terrifying proportions. Their relationship could not be termed as anything other than being the one that was created in the depths of the internet which Jenna wasn't even aware of. But it was Kevin's admiration of Jenna that had turned into an obsession, a strange attachment that went beyond simple fandom. On August 29th, Mark Gagnier, Jenna's father had just returned from a day of fishing in Key West when he got a panicked call from his younger daughter London. He was told by London that Jenna's friends had been getting in touch with her since they didn't hear from Jenna and she didn't even update her stories on Instagram in a few days which was uncommon for someone who relied on her active online presence for a career. Even the sisters had their most recent conversation on Thursday evening when Jenna FaceTimed her sister while she was returning from a pool party that NBA star James Harden had hosted. Mark initially thought that his daughter Jenna was simply not returning his calls, as this had taken place a few times earlier, and that she must be sleeping late after a night out. But then, when he and his girlfriend arrived at Jenna's home later that afternoon to check on her, he noticed her BMW parked in the garage. Mark was aware of his daughter's personality, so when he arrived at her home to find it locked and she wasn't returning his calls, which was most definitely not typical of her, he realized something was up. He went up to the door and kicked it down without thinking anything of it. He said, what I experienced, I would never want any parent to go through. Once Mark opened the door, he discovered Jenna folded up like a ball at the bottom of the stairs. Because of the way her leg was curled up underneath her, Mark initially believed there might have been a mishap and that she had fallen. But he then realized Jenna was only partially covered, so he told his girlfriend to find something for her to put on. When Mark's girlfriend got upstairs, she discovered Kevin with a knife in his neck lying near Jenna's bed. According to the appearance of the apartment, he did that to himself had been there injured for two days. The bathroom, freezer, and kitchen were all covered in blood. Every single corner was covered in pools and droplets. 
However, Kevin was still breathing when Mark arrived at his daughter's house, but he was pronounced dead soon after police arrived. He, however, was gurgling and wriggling continuously before being officially pronounced dead. Besides that, while staying there, Kevin had written a number of messages in Mercedes' lipstick on the walls, that included confessions, defenses, and claims of affection toward Jenny, a woman that it is well known that Kevin did not personally know. But in spite of that he noted that Janae gave him an idea that she cared for him while actually wearing another man's ring. It was certain that this was an obvious reference to a May Instagram photo in which Jenna flaunted a ring that her lover had given her. He also expressed regret for what he had done, wishing he had never met Jenna, and stating that he should have stayed in Florida. But his comment on being used for money, having the word money heavily underlined, caught most of the attention from online users. Well on top of that, police were not able to make the connection between the two. The detectives had to sift through Jenny's hundreds of social media profiles in order to discover a link between the two. Due to the fact that Kevin does not have any publicly accessible accounts registered in his name, it had not yet been possible to figure out which social media platforms Kevin followed her on. However, Jenny undoubtedly had quite a few Facebook accounts, as well as accounts on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and OnlyFans where she charged users $10 per month for access to X-rated premium content. So, like other influencers, she got presents and cash gifts from fans on a frequent basis, some of which were delivered to her home. So according to Jenny's father, Kevin might have discovered her address in this way. However, it was still unknown how Kevin got inside the residence given that it was a closely watched apartment and there was no indication of forced entry. As a result, investigators gained and reviewed video footage from Jenny's apartment as well as neighboring homes ring doorbell cameras. And as news of the Instagram star's death spread rapidly on social media, so did speculations and exaggerations. There were rumors that Jenny passed away of COVID-19, HIV, AIDS, or had been set up by dancers to be robbed and killed. This made Jenny's family grieving the death of their daughter much more difficult due to the awful stories that were spreading online. Jenny's sister London stated in a post on Instagram that Kevin was actually stalking Jenny. She strongly denied allegations of having been robbed claiming that it had only been a stalker from another state who had been after her sister. However, Jenny's death was determined to be a homicide by the medical examiner. It was clear that she had been strangled and experienced a severe concussion. Now the family of an Instagram model who was killed in an apparent murder side is now speaking out. We first told you about the death of Miss Mercedes Moore yesterday. Authorities say her body was found in her apartment in Fort Bend County, along with the body of a man who killed her on Sunday. And now her family has come forward to share their heartbreak as they search for answers following this disturbing discovery. KPRC 2's Jacob Rascone live in Richmond tonight with the new details. Jacob. The family says they hadn't heard from her for a couple days, so they showed up here to the apartment complex. When no one answered when the dad knocked, he kicked the door in and said he found his daughter there on the floor, already deceased, and her killer upstairs with a knife in him still alive. To her parents and other family and friends, 33-year-old Janae Gagné was so much more than an Instagram model. She was special. Just like she had the million, you know, a few million followers, that's all fine and good. But she was a person, and we miss her a lot. Searching us out to get the facts. Janae was loved, funny, goofy, um, crazy as hell. I know, and I shouldn't say that about my daughter, but that's my daughter. 2.6 million followers on Instagram knew her as Mercedes Moore. What happened on Sunday was the family's worst nightmare. Attacked, they say, by a stalker. How this... Guy found her, um, I don't know, but me walking in and finding my daughter and finding him um, committing suicide is just something that a parent should never bear. She's very cautious about her surroundings. Unfortunately, uh, someone basically was stalking and, and killed my baby. Police say Kevin Accordo lived in Florida and did not know Janae. His only criminal record, traffic violations. It, it does hurt as a parent 
to know you're bearing your child before, you know, you pass away. Feeling as a father that you can't protect your daughter and something happens like this? Uh, Janae was just a light, to be honest, and not just outside of the home, but she was very protective of me, protective of her dad, and she just was always the sweetest thing. Exactly how the suspect got here from Florida, got in the house, found her, all of that we still do not know. We watched the family remove her belongings from the home today, and they're currently making funeral arrangements. Jenny's popularity on social media was so much so that in the days following her passing, rapper Cardi B took to the internet to honor the model's memory by calling her a sweetheart. Jenny's tragedy ignited conversations about the dark side of online fame, the risks of sharing personal information, and the urgent need for stricter measures against cyberstalking. As we remember Jenny Gagnier, let's reflect on the bright light she brought into the world. Her family and friends continue to honor her memory, speaking for awareness about the dangers. Jenny Gagnier's true crime story serves as a devastating warning that evil lurks even among the glamour and beauty of social media and how terrible it can be. Thanks for watching. If you found this informative, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.